These Suffolk Community College students are not art majors, but they're being challenged to express themselves artistically by adjunct professor and photographer Rob Goldman in the final project for the class Developing Creative Imagination in the Arts. The students are allowed to use any artistic medium to take them out of their comfort zone and illustrate their fears. The developing of one's imagination, I feel that that's an underutilized part of the mind, that, that we're sort of wrapped up in this intellectual model of learning more and more data, more facts, more figuring things out, getting it right, getting it right. And that the idea in this class is to say that the imagination, one's creativity, the ability to innovate and have an original thought is not so easy. There's no path, there's no tried and true, this is the way that it is. It's more that you become a trailblazer rather than a method follower. Throughout the course, we were doing a lot of projects and assignments that tapped into ourselves and was trying to find out our deepest fears. So what we're doing today is we're having an exhibition of a piece of artwork of the, that expresses one of our deepest fears and we could use any medium that we want. He really wants us to find a fear, you know, something that um, bothers us from within, you know, like nobody else knows about, we never talked about it yet. He pretty much gave us range just to do whatever, you know, he was like, listen, I want you to do your fear, I want you to just, you know, try to reach deep within and, and see, you know, be, be real with yourself and not too many people can really you know express their fear openly now that's a scary subject he was pretty you know open with us and just really you know do like some I guess some soul searching and let us you know figure out what it is that we wanted to show and, and you know make it real we're having this type of museum that is going to express our fears through our art and whatever art you have it's beautiful so this culminating project at the end is is based on the topic of fear and frankly it's way more intense and more sophisticated than I ever imagined it was going to be. My fear is being left alone. I decided to be like a, a quadriplegic because uh, when I was younger, I used to like wake up from sleep and still be, you know, my body would be asleep, but my eyes would be open. And, and that really bothered me as a child and not being able to say anything and I just couldn't move. I would just be stuck there. I have a 11, 11 months old daughter, so when she cries, and I know that she has just been fed, and she should be all right, you know, it, may, it makes me fearful, like, you know, what's wrong with her, even though I know she should be all right. I'm basically depicting me as a dad, you know, getting ready for work and everything, but the baby's crying, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on, but I'm, I have a dress, as you can see, you know, I'm still trying to take care of the baby at the same time. For some of them, I I think it's for the first time that they've probably ever revealed this aspect of themselves. Slowly but surely there's also an integration to be able to say, okay, this is private, but the expression that I always use is how do we take something that's private and make it public, which to me is the nature of great art. What I've discovered is that in that process, I think because I'm creating a sort of um, it's okay to talk about this stuff, that they're opening themselves up week by week by week. You may walk in with a certain sense of yourself, but by constantly challenging that sense of self over and over and over again, by the way you take in information and the way that you process that information and then by the way that you express yourself, that there's a realization that you're boundless. I love Rob. He's an extremely eccentric person and he's really helped everyone kind of through their journey of finding themselves. It's, he's more of almost like a life coach as well as a teacher. And for me, in my experience, the only way to, to broaden that understanding and that perspective and that, and that identity and that realm of possibility is to challenge it, which often means embarrassment. It often means getting it wrong. It often means walking away with the answer of I don't know 
and that's okay. From this class, uh, it was crazy because I don't usually like uh, open myself up to people I don't know like that. And, and one of the things that he encouraged us to do was to be pretty much open ourselves up and, you know what I'm saying, to go beyond what we would normally do. I have always been behind behind the scene, you know, playing for hearties and stuff like that. But I actually got an opportunity to sing my song and do my own piece, you know, so it was very interesting. It took me out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I definitely got to look inside myself and and find all of my weaknesses and I basically grew on them and you know it's okay to fail and it's okay to be bad at something because it may allow you to grow as a person. I'm just walking around the room now and I'm looking at this work and I'm really feeling the courage that it took for for these young people to dig down inside and not only spill their guts because it's nobody's interested but to actually create metaphor and to create symbolism and to create depth and take it seriously is, is really beautiful. For Push Pause in Brentwood, this is Greg Blank.